Just well played game by the boys, top notch, you know, all the way to the end. How'd you feel out there? Uh, pretty solid. Um, I thought that uh, the command kind of ran away from me at times. Um, you know, a couple of dangerous hitters there towards the middle too, where you don't want to be making mistakes. Um, and so that probably cost us a little length. Although, you know, I, I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to keep going, knowing it was a double header. But um, I thought that we made pitches when we needed to, and we finished strong as well. Um, so uh, just, you know, kind of all around solid, solid effort. Aaron mentioned your fastball. Did you feel like your four seamer was particularly good today? Um, I thought, like at times, I, there's, you know. There were some times where we lost leverage, I think, throwing that pitch again to the left-handers. Uh, and then the Reyes count stood out. Uh, the home run, the three fastballs down the way. So, um, but in the end, like, located fastballs served us well. And um, a few key off-speed pitches well executed got us out of a couple jams. David, have you ever gone through a stress like where Araldis is, where he throws strikes and walks guys? And if so, how do you handle that mentally to get out of that? Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the, the Detroit game comes to mind right away. Um, thanks for bringing it up. But, I mean, um, you know, sometimes it can be tough. I think, like, as pitchers especially, we're out there when we're trying to decide what pitches we want to make, right? We're... We're calculating risk reward a lot, and you know when you're when you're telling yourself you know you need to execute this pitch, but you know you know where the danger zone is. Um, yeah, you have to at some point just get convicted and just just go after it. And um, sometimes I think that we as pitchers, you know, let that risk aspect of of, of the pitch sometimes creep into a little a little bit, and that that maybe. You know, affects our delivery. But certainly, I've, I've experienced that. So, do you, um, do you marvel at Matt Carpenter? I know you're familiar with him from your time yeah. nationally to be able to play as sporadically as he has so far for you guys and produce when he's in there. Yeah, I think that that's like it's just you know it, it never seems like um, it never seems like uh, his he needs like a time to adjust after he gets back in after not being in for a while. I think, um, and I said this right away, you know, one of the top guys uh, in the league with the knowledge of the strike zone, and I guess that's just one of those things that never leaves you. You know, you don't need to, it doesn't seem to me like he needs to be in there every day to know when the ball's, you know, half inch, two inches off the plate. He's pretty, he's pretty convicted and uh, he's, he's, he's right. So, um, you know, if he brings that out and then he's able to control his swings and make sure he puts good passes, you know, and may take him once or twice to get back into the groove. But it's like he knows what pitches he's swinging and what pitches he's not. So uh, that always gives him a shot and always makes him dangerous and a tough at bat.